This is an important message to my fellow outcasts and misfits. Let me be very specific as to who qualifies or who falls under the umbrella of such. I'm speaking of those of us whose only crime from the perspective of the greater society of simply being different. Those of us who are being called weird, eccentric, crazy, consistently throughout our lives. I'm speaking of those who are unwavering and uncompromising when it comes to truth, your constitution, and your authentic mode of expression. I'm speaking to those of us who have never felt like we belonged, no matter what group or situation we put ourselves in, there's just never been a resonance with a collective group thinking, a particular set, a particular idea. I'm speaking to those of us who are very independent in our thought process. I'm speaking to those of us who show that you do not have a price and therefore you cannot be bought. You cannot be shamed. You cannot be ridiculed. You cannot be bullied to dim your light in the presence of the others. I'm speaking to those of us who no matter how hard we work and how much we give and how much we do, somehow it never gets the same consideration, love, respect as those who are seen as or considered as normal. I'm speaking to those of us who dare to be the impossible. I come to remind you that collectively you are among those who vibrate Christ level consciousness by default. You are among those who have come here to be the true movers and shakers and the ultimate planters of change. And therefore, you are receiving incredible resistance. You are being attacked. You are being severely rejected and even mocked. But no matter how much the opposition heaps on you or us, Due to having a collective calibration level of 1,000, we are now more unwavering than ever, vibrationally, mentally, and psychologically. You are among those who did not have to be here at this time. You were very clear on what it is that you came to earth to do. You come from planes of consciousness where advancement in the metaphysical, technology, the occult, a thriving and balanced society has been achieved through many, many, many cycles of trial and error. In spite of this world telling you and sending messages that you are nothing, you are worthless, you are not cool, you are not good enough, you are a social reject. Vibrationally, you are the extreme opposite of it all. Those of us who have chosen to have children, you are giving birth to those who will take the seeds that you planted to the very next level. And yes, there are those of us who are not supposed to have children. So do not let anyone shame you or make you feel less than because it is in your constitution that you don't have a desire or need to bring forth life. That is not your job at this time. Those whose job that it is, they are very clear on that because vibrationally, we are collectively holding light in this very dark and chaotic world. If you guys were removed from the equation. I've said it time and time again. People cannot imagine what true, unconditional, immeasurable love is. Remove all of the outcasts and the misfits and the Christ beings. And those who are left with what 
is seen as the norm will truly see what hell on earth really is. So even when we are not actively pushing forth an intent or an intention into the world, vibrationally, just by sitting, just by existing, we are holding tremendous light and balance in the world. And that is one of the, if not the most important jobs and reasons for existence there is at this particular time, especially at this time. The opposition is very busy. We all know this. And I feel, my brothers and sisters, I feel your pain. And I'm speaking to you no matter what your shade and where you are in the world. Because beyond these physical bodies is who and what we truly are. And you cannot put a label or category on that. And many of you already know that, which is why you do not subscribe to the concept or idea of race. Let this message be a reboot and catalyst because many of us are feeling very stressed, very uneasy, and even having doubts. But I'm here to tell you with 100% confidence that is only in your mind. In the greater picture, we are winning. Let me rephrase that. In the greater picture, we have already won. I am proud of you. The Star family is proud of you. Your job is by far the most honorable, the most respected, and the most important of all. And so are you, in spite of a world that is constantly telling us otherwise.